Ooh, what's poppin' y'all? So, today is a little bit of a different video than normal. Recently, in the pit, yes, you heard me right, the pit had a somewhat major change made to it, and I want to address that today. So, after two back-to-back -back dupes and rollbacks, the admins decided to go full psycho mode and completely wiped all competitive bans. This means if you had a competitive ban and ever had pit items, you are free! This is good for a lot of players, especially ones who were falsely banned or, you know, cheated but regretted it or whatever. But people are worried that this is going to bring back, like, a lot of the toxicity from earlier ages of Pit. And while I think that might be true for a while, what I think we will actually see happen is we will see more and more God Set users trickle back in, and the market will have a significant increase of God items as lost accounts are recovered. Some of these players will stay, but probably a lot will just return to cash their items out and leave again. So Pit will probably only be a bit worse for a few months while these sets are found and spread around, but overall there shouldn't be too much of an impact on the game. I think a lot of people are overreacting, saying that no one will be able to streak anymore as every single Godset user from the past is gonna 100% return, but you gotta remember that before the regularity update, which was only a few years ago, <laughs> only a few years ago, most Godsets were quite different, and in current day are underpowered. So while there are going to be quite a few powerful items being found and spread around again, a majority of older, extremely overpowered setups are only really mid-level Godsets in the current meta. Most likely, for the average player, the only thing you will notice is maybe a few more diamond users in middle than normal, but as long as there's still somewhat of an okay ratio of diamond to chain players, the experience is going to remain the same. If we lived in an ideal world, this change would probably bring back like a whole lost cohort of players and would serve as a mini revive, but most likely this is only going to be a small boost to a population of players that definitely does not need to be increased. And after a few months, we might start to see that number trickle back down to more manageable numbers. As for the dupes that happened, I was lucky enough to not have played during those days, but I believe with the two rollbacks combined, roughly 50 hours was reverted, which is a lot of playtime. So if you played during that time, I guess, uh, skill issue? <laughs> Should have seen the future, buddy, and predicted the dupes forehead. But one significant thing to note about these dupes is the fact that the staff team actually fixed it, and fixed it pretty quick. So if there's one thing to take away from the dupes, it's that the staff team at least won't let the pit's economy implode overnight, even though there's still countless duped items in circulation, they did do a band-aid fix. So with that, a little bit of hope is granted to the pit, and maybe, just maybe, if enough players return Turn, they might even decide to give it a pity update. For now though, I think we will see how this change plays out. I'll continue to play even if the experience gets <laughs> a bit worse in the coming weeks. So stay on the lookout for my videos every Saturday and maybe more if I feel like it, and the occasional stream which I usually announce on my Discord a bit before I go live. Link is in the description, same with like where you can get my texture pack. But overall, I think that this update is going to be somewhat okay, and that mainly people are overreacting. Though I gotta say, like I really think they should have removed hoppers from the game. I think it's kind of a bad feature, and I really think they should do something about it and remove it. <laughs>